Coral Springs woman is behind bars, accused of shooting and killing a man on Saturday. 45-year-old Denise Malcolm stood before a judge this morning, charged with premeditated murder. The shooting happened at a house on Coral Springs Drive near Northwest 43rd Street. Police say a boy inside the home called 911 to report the shooting. When officers arrived, two children walked out of the house, and another shot went off before police say Denise walked out. Inside the home, officers say they found a man who'd been shot several times. We're working to learn the identity of the victim and what led up to this deadly shooting. Denise is being held in jail without bond. Welcome to Crime Time News and Entertainment with a Buzz. This one is called There Goes a Mother Humping Neighborhood Again. The Jamaicans with their anger management problem and killing attitude strikes again and turn the player's tranquil community in a topsy-turvy. The video or voices that you just heard is from the news article of an incident that took place in a place called Coral Springs, middle-class neighborhood, upper-middle-class neighborhood, just above Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 10 minutes or 15 minutes or so. Based on the Popo report, they said that they got some sorts of phone call. Apparently, one of the child that was in that house called and told the Popo, listen, it seems as if my mother take on my father. Please come ASS, ASAP, sorry. When the Popo pulled up on the scene, Coral Springs Drive to be specific, they saw two children outside. Before they could knock on the door, they heard a pie pie sound. Soon after, the wife, Denise Malcolm, 45 years old, she exited the premises. When the Popo went inside, they saw the husband, Mr. Rowan Malcolm, riddled body. Pretty much she blazed him up a couple of times and just when she heard the popo outside, she made sure that she gave him the K-I-L-L-S-H-O-T just for some sorts of security reasons. Now people, when you hear stuff like this, we have to ask ourselves, is there something wrong and people, maybe because I am doing Jamaican news so therefore I speak about Jamaican Activities as it pertains any sorts of Jamaican, local or international. But it seems as if Jamaicans just have a hate for Jamaicans. Even the people that we call wives or husband. Even the people that we call family members, brother, sister, mother and father. It just seems as if there is no sorts of love when it comes to Jamaicans. And even worse, it seems as if we cannot come to any sort of amicable agreement. Whatever problem that we have, we always have to resort to some sorts of violence. If a knife, if a G-U-N. Now, based on what the Popo said, this lady, she was remanded without no sorts of bail. And she was officially charged with premeditated takeaway. That means that she thought about it. And maybe based on the interviews that they did, or maybe these people have been getting all sorts of complaint. People file all sorts of report, meaning the neighbors, meaning the husband might have filed some sorts of report against the wife and said that she threatened him. Don't know the specifics of that. But when you see this lady, 45 year old, charged with premeditated takeaway, you have to understand that she planned it and she executed executed meaning the operative word because when you think about the fact that florida is one of those g-u-n states florida is one of those stand your ground states that means that if anything if you feel as if your life was in danger and what makes it worse the stand your ground rule is not steadfast it is for interpretation it says if you feel as if your life is in danger, you have the rights to protect yourself. Not if you know. That means that more than likely, had this been any sort of self-defense case, this lady more than likely would not have been charged. So at the end of the day, the father is gone. At the end of the day, the wife is more than likely going to get a whole bunch of times Probably do the rest of her natural life. She is 45 years right now. So therefore, if she gets first degree takeaway, you know that that is going to be about 35 or so before she is eligible. So therefore, at 35 by 45, that is 80. Especially under the stress of some sorts of big yard. More than likely, she is not going to make it out. 
what is even worse, these two children that were there that heard everything in intricate details that are traumatized are going to be severely emotionally affected for the rest of their natural life. It makes no sorts of sense. Point blank and period. Now the next thing that is popping in the news is that we see that the culture of impatience, madness, recklessness, lawlessness, selfishness, it continues. I am speaking about a deadly accident that took place at the St. Brooks Main Road that is in Manchester, where it is confirmed that a 6th grade student, 10-year-old Trayvon Sanchez, and his mother, Constable Cabrina Crawford, she was injured. Lickyo did not make it. Based on the information, it is said that this incident occurred maybe about 7 a.m. in the morning. First day of school, the school year just, just starts. This mother was taking her child to school on that main road like mm -hmm. I told you. When a Range Rover, why to be specific, overtake a line of traffic going at not speed, could not break up, the impact was so devastating that it left or pretty much take away the 10 year old instantly. The mother was rushed to the hospital. She is presently in the hospital battling for her dear life. Just imagine if she is still conscious and knows that her son is gone. Just imagine the way that she feels her life will never be the same until she goes to the afterlife. What makes it even worse is the fact that the driver of that Range Rover, who was identified by the Pope, I guess, based on the registration paperwork of the vehicle, he ran away from the scene, the scene of the crime. If you know anything about the rules and laws of Jamaica, if there's any sorts of accident, you should report it within 24 hours, especially in a DEADLY one like this. This youth or this person decides to run away from the scene of the crime in which a 10-year-old lost his life. I am thinking he probably or she probably knew that she did or he did some sorts of buckery and might have gotten some sorts of Tarzan and Jane justice, justifiably so. So therefore, them take what themselves or that person took away themselves. Based on what the Pope report said this morning, Yesterday even that person surrendered to the Popo, they are presently in the custody of the Popo. Now people, when you look at these circumstances and look at exactly what happened, like I tell you, these people feel as if they are the only ones that have stuff to do. Their business is more, more important than, than anybody else's business. And people, this is not just isolated to downtown, fully done people. This is also uptown people, especially the people that live uptown but have some sorts of criminal intention, especially the people with the mindset of these dancehall artists. They are reckless out there. And if you remember a couple of months ago at a place called Pearly Beach that is in Ocherius on that main road, there was also another accident in which four persons lost their life. The person that caused this was also the driver of a fresh um, Range Rover. It is said that there was a little youth in that Range Rover. He is presently brain D-E-A-D. -E Just imagine how that person feels. Took away four innocent people because they are impatient. Same thing, run a line of traffic or vehicles. Fast forward, Monday morning, 7 a.m., the same thing. And the sad thing about this whole situation is that it could have easily been avoided. Another life lost prematurely. Had person just easily follow the road code. Stay in your lane, stay in the line. Do things the right way. Now, people, these people want to get up late, rush and try to reach early. I do not understand that concept. So now, all because of somebody else's fault and negligence, because this is exactly what this is, negligent homicide. This mother will now have to bury her son. This family will now have to pick up the pieces. This lady is probably paralyzed. This lady's life won't ever be the same emotionally and probably physically. 
What do you think is going to happen to the person that caused all of this? Range Rover driving crazy lunatic. He is more than likely going to lawyer up, get some sorts of top lawyer. He is going to go to courts, buy out the judge, buy out the prosecutor, probably buy out the investigating police. He is probably more than likely going to get a slap on the wrist. He is going to go on with his life as if nothing happened. He is going to make it kind of calm down a year or a couple of months from now. He is going to be on the road doing the CMBS. Hopefully, next time, the car will flip and fling him out. And then some sorts of 18-wheeler will run over him and squash him out, flatten him out. That is the only sort of karma or justice. Some people, like I told you before, this man, when he realized that the people M D E A D, he ran away from the scene of the crime. And that is because he knew within himself that he deserved some sort of Tarzan and Jane and the little monkey justice. The people M should have frazzled him out right there upon the spot. Make some sort of example for the rest of you lunatics, impatient, lawless pieces of S-H-I-T people out there. Point blank and period. So the next thing that is popping in the news, it is becoming more and more apparent that Jamaica is not a safe place to drive any sorts of cab, in drive or whatever it is. Any sorts of legitimate business that you're doing, that you're involved with John Public. There are a set of purses, especially women that are out there, to lure men in, set up men, and then them have them K-I-L-L-Y people, take away people money and take away people life. This young lady that I am going to show you in this video, she tried to set up some people. Apparently, she did not realize that the people that she tried to set up, the vehicle belonged to some sorts of popo. So it's a good thing that the popo was quick on his feet and he held on to that lady and he was going to take her to take them to the people that are a part of the conspiracy of this robbery and possibly take away people. So people, take a listen, take a look to exactly what this young lady has to say, telling a whole bunch of lies, and then I'll give my piece. Police come to me and say, you're involved with them. Yeah. And I said, no, what? Can I do that? Yeah, I do. So people, that was that piece of ish, B-I-T-C-H, calling the other people that are involved when she was held by the popo. So therefore, she had no sorts of choice. You hear she had talked about the people and said she involved. She knew that she was involved. So that was video one of two. I am going to show you when the popo was trailing behind that vehicle. And then I am going to give my piece. This is how it goes, yeah? I go, we are police in front and behind me and we are going in one of the car them. We are we are going in a jungle now. We are going for our brother and him friend them now because she has our brother and them. So we are going for him now and we are going to charge her. You see me? But the man them are going for our brother. The man said before them carry her, I go lock her and go for our brother first. So we are, we are in a jungle now and go for our brother. You see me? So I don't say that they all come out when them fuck up with the driver. At the end of the day, we have to use them as an example. You see what I say? I could have heard some driver dead last night. I could have heard some of them teeth. I can't remember if I got to one bag of f***er. So here, we're going to use she as an example. And I'm going to post all our videos on TikTok and everywhere. You see me? That's the thing going to be. So we're going to police in front and behind me. We're going to leave them there in front. So we're going to the jungle for our brother now. You see me? Yeah. So the video number two that you just saw is when they had this girl in the vehicle. And she gave them the direction to where her brothers and the other co-conspirators were. So this man was giving you a play-by-play -play as they went in the direction for those criminal elements. The third video is when they were at the Popo station. Take a listen, take a look, and then I'll give my piece. Update with the, the other station, the mall one. Girl, them have the a charge a girl and them have a charge a youth. I don't know if you see them now work with them. They don't get the information from this man them. So we have to go to the door, we have to do so. We're there at the station now. You see me? They have to charge them, we have to do it. I'm not trying to ease up, but I'm not working with them. I'm not making them go so. So, we're there to deal with it. So based on what we heard in the third video, apparently, the mission had to be aborted because the persons were not complying. 
the purses were hiding them pretty much. Fling them sister under the bus. They were not going to give in themselves. So therefore they were taken to the Popo station. And the Popo was going to charge this lady for the conspiracy for Rob and whatever the other charges are. The good thing about this is that this man is a popo that owned this vehicle, so therefore he is able to take this case to the fullest extent of the law. But there are also other victims out there that because they're afraid they are not going to show up to court, they are not even going to make any sorts of charges at any sorts of popo station. This is a big problem in a Jamaica as a matter of fact. There's a whole bunch of young ladies that are roaming on social media, roaming in a real life, and they are looking for unsuspecting victims with the promises of PUMS heads, brains, whatever you want to call it. However, when these people pull up, especially if you have any sorts of lies of fire piece, you are going to be robbed for that fire piece. You are going to be robbed for your cash and other goodies. And in many cases, unfortunately, a lot of these victims don't make it home because they're toasty, because they're cocky. Mislead them. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. And last but not least, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source. I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. Bless up.